Today I'll be showing you how you can edit your photos using InShot. Make amazing and epic photos with InShot. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications for more. You're going to open up the app and what you want to do once you've opened the app, you're going to be burned to this layout. You've got options to create video, photo, or collage. This tutorial we're going to specifically speak about photo. Let's select a photo. Simply selected a photo here of the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Now first of all, you want to go to Canvas. Now with this, you go to Ratio. You can select. This would really depend on where you're going to release your content. So let's say if you're releasing it to Instagram Stories, you can 9 by 16. If you're releasing it as like a general photo, go 16 by 9. You can go Facebook, you can go Instagram, you can go Twitter. Now we've got a filter. There are many different filters that you can use, which are pre-filters that have been preset. There's a lot. Some of them are paid, but the majority of them are free. You can go over to adjust. When you go to adjust, you can add adjust. You can adjust stuff such as the brightness. Like if you want to make this photo a bit darker, you can change the contrast. I really, really like to make my photos contrasty. But this would this would also depend on what kind of photo you're trying to aim for. But in general, for these kind of location shots, I like them really contrasty. Like we can see here, we got a warm. You can edit your warm. You can make it really, really warm or really, really unwarm. For this specific shot, the more unwarm would be better because it really, really does get that blue water. You can go to tint. For this, I wouldn't really add a tint. I'd really, really keep it in the middle. So it's a bit like that. You can go saturation. You can really edit your saturation. This would, once again, would depend on the photo. Keep it about 37 saturation for this. Go to fade. You can add a fade. I wouldn't really recommend adding a fade for this one. And highlight. You can do really highlight. You've got some really, really great things that you can do in this app. Shadow. It's really, really cool too. Color. This is one thing.